I'm Leah, and welcome to Life and Mission Essentials. And today we are doing our Pathways Read for Water Signs, Zodiac, Houses, and Planets of Scorpio, Cancer, and Pisces. Before we get into your Pathways Reading, you receive the spiritual message. If you are new to my channel, I'm Leah. I read numbers, colors, talk to spirit. So what is going on for water signs in the month of November? We have crossing bridges. What are you going to experience? Crossing bridges. It says, it is a time for healing, connecting, mending, and releasing. This will also be known as a breakthrough. Mm -hmm. Leaving an old situation behind, right? A lot of you are going to be in the mindset that uh, once you go through or once you've been through, you're going to say, you know what? That's water under the bridge. Heard that saying before? Pertain it to crossing the bridge, right? We have two energies here. So you could face one of the two energies, if not both. The first energy I is appreciation. Mm-hmm. Appreciation comes in as a six, right? Six represents that balance, that reciprocation, equal give and take. What must be done or what is going to be done in this situation? Were the signs coming in wounded, feminine energy, dressed in brown and green? Brown talks about the acceptance or the rejection of the green. What is the green? Abundance, success, wealth. Health, risk, movement forward, or the green light. But what must be done here? Release the old in order to see beauty in front of your face. In this month of November, this is the third time that appreciation has come out. Appreciation is here. Appreciation came out in Earth Signs reading, mm -hmm, their pathways. And appreciation came out at Dark Mystics, um, where, where the November blocks are posted. That is my other channel. We pick up on blocks over there in darkness. So you're coming in wounded. This is something that you have not uh, done. So that would be action. You have no uh, logic or you just don't see it because this person is looking at you instead of looking at the roles. What? situation or who must be released for you to have bigger and better upgrades right elevation right six a time of balancing and they are telling us here that what is beauty see that the rose that this feminine energy holds is beauty rose represents beauty but what is behind the rose crossing the bridge so this is actions that are not taken or some type of uh, logic that has not been uh, solved or given. But you do what you got to do. The next energy here, and it's like everything is going the same way towards crossing bridges. You have the fourth chakra, which is this heart matter. And it comes in as a two. What are the tools? Doorway, gateway, threshold opportunity miss opportunity secrets being held or exposed communication factors of conversating and debating or the connection of two see that heart matters also here green a lot of green and i would say gold the illumination of the green what is going on in a heart situation and the fourth chakra grows towards, head towards, see that, faces, crossing bridges. What heart situation or who has caused some type of um, injury to the heart? And they're telling us here a decision needs to be made and you must have a strong decision or a strong mind, strong feeling, because this is a masculine energy. To do what? Release the old only to see beauty in your face and what is beauty it leads up to crossing bridges let me show you everything faces this crossing bridges see that 
masculine turns into the feminine, goes towards the feminine. The feminine is looking at you, not seeing the rose. And what is behind the rose? Crossing bridges. What needs to be released? Who needs to be released? What needs to be um, mended or healed? Because don't forget, crossing bridges says it is a time for healing. That's one. Connecting is two. Mending is three. And releasing is four. What needs to be released? Who needs to be released? What is your healing? How is it connected? What needs to be mend? Who can mend, right? Because sometimes you have to mend with people in order to move on. And when you say mending, that is like the forgiveness. And that forgiveness also comes in in a, in, in a, in a form of uh, release what is the insight surrounding both situations we received a four this is the oath the oath of the heart you must go with how you feel or you must address take an oath right <clears throat> to be successful in when you're taking a risk because that's the green that all matters are going to end in your success comes in as a four what is the four Four is one of the most injuring and damaging colors on the boards. At, uh, colors, numbers on the boards at this time. The most injuring um, color on the board is the brown. And you receive that here. Mm -hmm. The green and the brown. Four is one of the most injuring and damaging numbers on the board. It talks about what you will accept, what you can reject, or what is blocked. Those four walls. Box. See? Clarifying your crossing bridge. If you decide to heal, men connect or release, what is here for you? All of this came out. Fortune. Fortune comes in as a two. And I believe you are the third sign or the third video. Dragon blood has been here. And once again, look at the green dragon. Some of you may need to work with dragon's blood, maybe, all right? It just depends on how you feel, all right? So this is your spiritual message. Let's break down this fortune mm -hmm. because it comes in as opportunity missed opportunity. Maybe a conversation needs to come into play that will allow you to heal. When you speak with people, you bond with people, you connect with people. Maybe there's some type of conversation that needs to go on that will allow you to mend what was broken mm -hmm. or it will allow you to release a person about a situation that needs to be released. Crossing the bridge. That's this, this, this is what this spiritual message is about, water sign. So let's get into your fortune. Fortune comes in as air element one. Air element is thought, logic. One is about taking action. Mm -hmm. taking action the thought of action opportunity to be fortunate or missed opportunity to be fortunate twos also talks about secrets being held or exposed if you communicate or if you are even listening a secret secret may come out right or someone will continue to uh hold on to a secret it just depends on your situation you have uh, appreciation factors here. Maybe someone is not being recognized. Maybe someone does not want to be recognized. That's secrets. When you talk about the fourth chakra, those are hearts, the matters that are within the heart and of the heart surrounding your heart. It could be physical heart. It could be spiritual heart. It can be um, emotional heart. Just depends on how you look at your heart situation. Spirit for water signs. Why is fortune here? For crossing bridges. Face down, you receive two. The six of swords. And the queen of coin. When you have queens on the board, they represent the weaker energy, right? Feminine energy. Moving out of a time, this is the six of swords, of being wounded by value see that what is value value could be fortune see that could be your fortune 
your value could be appreciation. See that? Wounding. Or value could be the fourth chakra. All of these cards and images have green in them. Green. Moving away, moving out of a time of being wounded. That is their release. That could be the mending. That could be the healing. Or something could be connecting for you to finally say, you know what? It's time for me to move on. See that? Move on. Underneath the deck, let's see what the story is or what is the situation that's happening for a person to say, you know what? <clears throat> Excuse me. It's time for me to move on. I'm tired of feeling down. I'm tired of being wounded. I'm tired of, of being a person of lack or being in a position of lack. See that? A person who doesn't feel love, a person who doesn't feel appreciated, a person who has been um wounded or injured within their heart. See? It says seven of cups, right? Choices, options, deci decisions, or desires. Seven of cups. To communicate, right? To communicate. Mm -hmm. But the communication comes in to a person who is out of their mind. See that? Out of their mind. See that? King of swords in reverse. Someone who does not think right. This could also be a stalker or a psycho. Came out in Earth Signs reading as well, I believe. Or it could have been at Dark Mystics, right? Out of their mind. About what? About a love situation. Mm -hmm. Ace of Cups. That was unfulfilled or unfulfilling. The creation of being held back. Seven of Coins. You see that? So here, we'll stop, right? Here. What is keeping a person wounded? What is keeping a person wounded? The lack of feeling. See that? Queen of coins towards cups. The lack of feeling. See that? What could be feelings? Fortunate or unfortunate. See that? Mm -hmm. Not feeling appreciated enough. No gratitude, right? No thanks. No thanksgiving. Or someone trampled all over your heart, right? You could have a weak heart. Heart matters. See that? Feelings, right? So now a person has a wounding in their feelings, right? Towards their choices, options, or desires. What? Now they want to communicate. Somebody want to send some type of communication in. See that? Now... When the communication comes in, it comes in to a person who is out of their mind or a person who does not want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. I don't have time for it. But see, I'm going to tell you about this person. Even though they may say they don't want to hear it, they don't have time for it. Are you playing mind games with them? They're listening. Because see, the swore, if it was upright, it could be used to block communication coming in. But, it, but because the sword is down... And communication still flies a person may receive the communication or may hear of the news or may get the message and then pretend like they don't hear it or a person could be like you know what no matter what you tell me i don't want to hear it and they end up stalking you or they become in they come into a position of being like a psycho about what what is the communication coming in to a person who does not want to hear it or they say they don't have time for it. It's about love matters. You didn't appreciate me when we were together. You gave me no thanks when I tried to do this. When I had your back. When you didn't have, I had, I gave. See that? See? Don't, don't want to listen. I don't want to hear it. Um, When me and you were together, you cheated on me. You ran all over my heart. You didn't really love me. See that? So now is the decision. When you talk about a love matter or you talk about appreciation factors or you talking about fortune, who is abundant or who is not abundant in this situation? Because fortune, fortunate comes in or fortune comes in as a two. See that? And then it's funny because the dragon looks one way and the, the ace of cups goes another way. That is a tear. That is a split. Someone could have money, wealth, success, value on the mind. 
and another person gen genuinely like really had feelings or love for a person who needs to be released what needs to be healed who needs to be healed and then they tell us that divine love goes to a place of the creation of being held back real love was being held back right gratitude let me show you was being held back all of these things that represent like love offering heart situation held back fortune held back if you were with a person you know and they dogged you out or even you dogged a person out you know what i learned a long time ago from even just my own life experience when you get with someone you really love and you've been a heartbreaker and you know to a lot of people soon as you get ready to fall in love like real love or you really have feelings with a person a person doesn't want to be bothered and you know that's like that karma that's that karma that's that get back if you don't like a person and you tired of dealing with a person why cannot why you cannot be uh real with them one thing about me i'm gonna just go on and tell you i can't deal with this no more I can't do it. And some people act like they're afraid to open their mouths. But in the, in the end, it's best to be honest and pray that you don't create a stalker or a psycho than to literally be out here playing with people's emotions. Emotions. Cups. Seven of Cups with the, eight of, with the Ace of Cups makes the Eight of Cups. What is the Eight of Cups? Someone walking away from a situation or someone going on a new quest. See that? Eight of Cups. Do what you got to do because unfulfillment is here. And then they tell us someone is having the willpower. See that? Having the willpower, right? To go away from the Four of Staff. What is the Four of Staff? The Four of Staff could be a home could be a building or some type of structure or foundation or go away from a relationship involving a masculine energy and a feminine energy away from that and when this person starts to take this journey what is going to happen the two of staff with the four of staffs makes the six of staff and what is the six of staff victory a person is leaving and it may be the fact that a person needs to leave to cross the bridge see that to find their healing to men to connect or release and when i say connect that could be connect with themselves connect with their higher self right to have better to do better to receive better elevation i'm telling you someone is gonna get it in their minds and it's gonna go to their heart who am i loyal to when I got into this relationship or this situationship, I made a, I took an oath or I vowed to myself that if love is not here, that I will leave anything, right? If a person came in just to gain or to, or to take from a person because of what a person had, you better be careful because uh, karma mm -hmm, is running around here rampant. And when I say rampant, I've been so busy just this weekend alone doing a lot of um personal readings in my city. And when I say people are karma is visiting, like everybody who I seen um and read this weekend for, every uh, the situations that was going on, all I can tell them is you ended up on the good side of the stick this time because karma is going to visit these people that um you know did you wrong. And I still see karma here. And I think karma came in at Dark Mystics. I think don't, karma came in on dark, at dark Mystics or um, Earth Sign. Read. So, you you know, if you are the person that has been, you know, wrong has been done. At the end of the day, if I was you, I would cross that bridge and not look back. I'm telling you. Because, you know, I, I sometimes I have to tell people, listen, karma coming for you. And when karma knocks on the door, act like you don't want to answer the door. Karma will kick down your door and that's going to make karma hit a little bit hard. Come in. She's going to come in. You might as well open up the door and tell her to come on in and have a drink. 
because it's going down. It's going down. Let's get into your pathway readings. Happy birthday, Scorpios. Let's go. Mine coming up. Yes. Spirit for water signs, houses and planets, right? So for all of those who have watery charts like myself, what is along the pathway in November, Spirit? What is along the pathway? Okay, card comes out and it touches the clarifying deck. Boom. Beautiful. We, we received the golden palace representing fortune, fame, ambition, glory, because we receive the gold. That comes in as the five. What is five changes that is coming in towards the goddess of water? That this is this is one of the cards that flip. So it is the king of cups facing changes. Yes, let's get the goal. I want my goal. Mm -hmm. Spirit, what is going to be faced along the journey of the golden palace for water signs of Cancers, Pisces, and Scorpios? That came out directly on top of your two. Fellow travelers, support is all around you. Ooh, I guess karma not coming to visit us. Well, I know karma not coming to visit me because I didn't do anything. Yes, fellow travelers, what say you? <laughs> another focal point or another experience along our pathways in November, water signs. Hidden, you see it? Boom, you see it? Hidden. You received rescue. Let's go. Who needs to be rescued? <laughs> Comes in as a seven. Seven is a number of self-reflection. Spirit, what will be faced along our travels of rescue for water signs? Two? Two. You receive distant thunder. Clear the air. It is also uh, a time that a lot of you need to start working with sage. Mm-hmm. That's another thing a lot of people have been buying like crazy too, sage. I have, um, I think all my frankincense, no, what is it? Sage and myrrh are gone. My ceremonial sages are gone. Like people are ready. They're being prepared. I think I have maybe two five directional sages left. I think I have a sage and frankincense. I don't even know. I think it's like five different ones. I think it's only two five directional and the other three are different. It may be like sage. It might be sage and myrrh and then sage and frankincense. frankincense. And then I think I have a sage and lavender. I always um, get like bulk, the two different mixes and sometimes the five, the five directional sages um because i rather have a two for one or a five for one right the next one you received is clearing waters let's go clearing waters some of you may need to take a bath some of you may need to um cleanse your homes or surroundings it says purification activates vibrant life forces that is life forces is life energy feminine energy some of you don't know you need to uh take a spiritual bath or have a spiritual cleansing and i sold some of that too uh the um washes and soaps so it's a lot going on <clears throat> in this time and it should be because we're in a crucial time we are in the time of uh like libra just left right what is libra libra is the balancing of scales so this is when you should lay down your game plan right um of who needs to go what needs to go and we just had crossing bridges healing mending connecting and releasing when scorpio season comes in this is the time of execution executing your plan so when you get into sagittarius right sagittarius is that fire Fire talks about uh, manifestation, uh, destruction, and creation. You will learn in the time of Sagittarius if your plan that you strategize for and you execute it in Scorpio, when Sagittarius gets here, you are going to learn who plan worked and who plan did not work. If your plan that you executed flawlessly or... Um, with with light with little errors if it goes through you will go into the manifestation of creation stage for those whose plan had holes in it and faults in it and errors 
your plan is going to be destroyed and you're going to have to start all over. If you uh kind of sort of like in the mind of proofread or um eliminate your trial and error in Scorpio and proceed past your Sagittarius, when you get in Capricorn, that is the time of that you need to be grounded. This is when if you pass, you know, the devil is going to come at you in many different forms and many different ways because they know because the devil knows that the breakthrough is, is get being given. But for those who planned it not proceed, <laughs> time to redo it all over again. We are in critical times. And like I asked Earth Science, ask yourself why they put all of these physical holidays at the end of the year because they do not want you to focus in elevating your spiritual, right? Just like they, we have all these holidays in the physical, there is a lot of um thoughts of actions that need to be going on for the spiritual growth for your spiritual self. I'm telling you now. Let's get into these energy spirit for the energy of the golden palace for water signs of Capricorn. Capricorn. Wow. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. What is going on in Capricorn? We have a block here. The door of the spirit. Who is dealing with Capricorn? Your door of the spirit mm -hmm, is in reverse. And we have a problem because the door of the spirit mm -hmm, is open to any and all. What is not coming out of this door? What is being blocked for water signs? We have a problem. And for the rescue, I'm glad we got a rescue here. What is the energy here? You receive three. The energies you received is the world that talks about expansion and growth. But we have an attachment factor here. Mm-hmm. And we also have a masculine energy hole in a coin. So, a rescue comes in in a situation. Then we have a block here. We have a lot going on, water signs. But it's all good. It's all good. Let's move over here to this golden palace, right? And because our daughter spirit is being blocked, this may be a lot of you not paying attention to the spiritual realm in these in the end of the year time. Yeah, in the end of the year time frame. Daughter spirit comes in as a five. What is the five change? And right now we need change to come in in the spiritual realm because we have another change on the board that is for our golden palace of our gold, our wealth, our success our ambition, our dreams, our starting investments, our starting projects. We can't have this. Let's go to the spiritual realm. Let's go to door to spirit and see why spirit blocked this door or why a person is working towards blocking the door. No. Spirit, what cannot be seen in the physical but is there in the spiritual for woof? Water signs towards the insight. Let me get an insight. Listen, we got a little work. What is in the card? What is the card of the spiritual realm? The desert prince. Are you going to be a survivor or are you going to fall for false promises and false hopes coming in as a one? What is the one? You along your thoughts of journey. So this is the, the this is what's going on. In order to get to the golden palace or the goal, whether the goal be money, a house, a car, happy family, a, a, a success or a, um, not a success, yeah, a success or a job promotion or some type of elevation, sorry, um, for you, for self-growth or for self-purposes or for self-gain, you have to stand up and unblock this door. And part of the unblocking of this door, Spirit says, you must do what? Take a risk. A lot of you are getting ready to face some type of decision. I'm telling you now. But when this decision comes, do not walk by 
sight, you walk by faith. Basically, you don't walk and make decision, decisions in a in a physical realm, right, for a spiritual gain. In order to get to a spiritual gain or a spiritual glory, I hear, you make decisions in the spiritual realm. That's what you must do. And then they say support is all around you, fellow travelers. We are now in a time of giving thanks to our ancestors. So many people have been emailing me, Leah, what I need to do. <sighs> a lot do not understand that our ancestors carry us and they create for us. Even though they're not here in the physical realm, they do a lot in the spiritual to manifest for us to have um rewards and um rewards rewards and uh clear our paths to uh be great and success have success and wealth and our health and be protected in the physical realm do what you gotta do and they're telling us strong feelings are here because this is the king of cups card and this is water signs what are you doing you're facing changes you are facing changes within the way that you receive changes because it's five five right towards your golden palace so let's look into what you must do what you must do you must survive you have to survive and take a risk to turn around this door yeah do what you gotta do you have help. What is your support system, water signs? Your ancestors of your mothers and your fathers, the parents that created you, had that had you, right? Made you, right? Even if you knew them or not, because I hear a lot of people saying, I didn't know my parents. I was raised by my grandmother. I was raised by my aunts, my uncles, my aunts, my, you know, um, my cousins. You always ask for help from your mother's ancestors and your father's ancestors, whether you know them or not, because it takes two to get a child here. You ask for the angels. You ask for the Holy Spirit. You ask for divine spirit to come in. You ask for your guides along your path. You ask for the ethers and the orbs of light to show you the way, because if you don't, point blank, period, you will fail. I hear it. Spirit, why is the desert prince towards this wrist here for water signs? We got a heavy time on us. A lot of you may feel um, your plate weighted. It seems like every time you turn around, something is going on. Something is adding to your plate. You say, Leah, it, it, I'm so tired. And look what comes out. Water sign, element. Both of them, water element, water element. You receive the first out. Four cups, right? And this is that decadence, right? Towards what? Desires. So you receive the four of cups. What is the four of cups? Someone who is on a new journey in love, right? Whether it is love of self, a love of someone else, a love of something else, but attachments block them. See that? Three of cups upon the ground. Mm-hmm from what from what you desire see that seven what is the seven seven is the number of self-reflection and it represents desires together they represent the ace of cups yes but will you receive or will it be taken away will it be blocked when i say be careful be careful let's see what's going on water signs there's so much it's so much here right it's okay though do what we got to do and you do what you got to do for you spirit why is the four of cups and the seven of cups here for water signs over your four of cups you receive the will of fortune mm -hmm. will of fortune towards the hangman wow major changes right major faded events are in sight right in sight in sight until that destiny in sight until fate in sight this is them coming in and saying hey heads up heads up 
this is what's going on. Your door into the spiritual realm is being blocked, whether it is being blocked by you or someone else underneath the deck. What comes out again? The four of cups. Someone who is on a new journey, ace of staff, in love, ace of cups, but the attachments, three of cups, block them because the ace, the three of cups sits upon the ground. Anything that is upon the ground, it is dirty. It is filthy. It is contaminate, contaminated. It is no good. And it is causing worry. Nine of swords. Someone who is mentally down. Someone who cannot get up. Right? See that? Nine of swords. And then they tell us someone must journey. Journey alone. Search for wisdom receive insight right alone and see the thing about it is i still see progression here what is progression a person who is upon their knees right falls down on the ground so you go from being on your knees to down on all four and once you hit a situation of being in rock bottom you'll get up because then you will start to understand the journey then you will understand the blocks and you say you know what i must journey and what is leading you in your time of journey fire what is the fire fire is the manifestation mm -hmm. it is destruction but it's also creation and your fire is leading you to the nine of coin what is or who is the nine of coin someone who was held back from changes see that because a person must learn how to overstep and grow up over a low energy snakes snakes the representation of snakes is not always bad it just depends on the placement of the snake and this snake is on the ground so anyone who wants to argue fight uh bicker gossip block you do not entertain that it is so crucial and then they say the resistance right what has happened to a person who has been held back from changes the resistance of an offer see that the knight of swords towards the knight of cups and the knight of cups is not looking a lot of you may be dealing with air because right now we have two cups and two air signs right and then they say why why is a person wanting to attack water signs why is a person stabbing water sign in the back see that right because the creation of holding back crabs in a pot seven a coin someone who has overstepped the divine plan see that divine plan that beetle represents the divines and then they say temperance comes in yes what is temperance temperance comes in as major arcana number 14 that breaks down to a five this is changes that is going on behind the scene changes you cannot see see that and then they tell us judgment towards temperance judgment towards the spiritual realm judgment to the unseen but for the betterment of you right why because you were wounded look queen of coin queen of coin and what did you not see you did not see a place of comfort right a place of comfort ten of cups you did not see happiness why because a heartbreak is here see that be careful and this heartbreak three of swords comes in in the off in in the, in the form of feelings or desires options and choices when i say be careful be careful you become a survivor and do not believe in false promises and false hopes you stand up to what a person is telling you because you're going to get ready to hear a lot of things if a person could come to you and say if you just be with me i'll make it all better i'll make it all go away well hell if you was gonna make it all go away and you was gonna make it all better why are you still having problems listen with your ears and not with your eyes i'm telling you now feel with your heart and do not allow your mind to take over it's a it's a lot going on water signs our plates are heavy let's go
on to your next message. Rescue is here and we need the help. We need the help, whether it is help of our spiritual, help within our physical, help within our um emotional, or help within our mental states. Help, we need it. So comes in, right? And who needs the help? We all need help, right? I don't care if you think you got it all figured out. You just never know when a curveball is going to come, correct? Who needs the help? When I say we need help, they tell us that we need help because rescue comes in as a seven. Seven is a number of self-reflection. What is on the chopping block for the rescue? Distant thunder. Clear the air. When you clear the air, you speak your peace, do you not? Uh-huh. And then they say coming in as a wounded energy, feminine energy, female energy, feminine energy, wounded. Dis distant thunder thunder could also be represented as trouble that may come or uh, an opportunity because lightning is here and lightning represents surprises see that surprises a lot of you may just get ready to uh for pop-ups you never know when your family's coming in you never know when friends are gonna pop up you never know when your past is gonna come back mm -hmm. be careful and some of you, right, need to purify to activate vibrant life. Some of you may have been in depression states or down so long that it is time to rinse and wash clear. And if you cannot get a wash or you cannot get a spiritual bath, go to a natural stream of water, a river, a creek, a lake. Not, not, not one of those man-made ponds. Well, then again, you could because the ocean water flows through that too. It is time to purify. It is time to purify. So when they tell you to get ready, protection from the distant thunder or to cleanse away, expansion and growth is here. See that? The world represents expansion and growth. Mm -hmm. Comes in as a two. Opportunity, missed opportunity. This is a time for elevation. So they could be telling you it is time for you to get ready to be purified and cleansed so you can receive your expansion and growth. A lot of you that are um trying to start your own businesses, it is time. A lot of you that may need an extra boot, start showing thanks to your ancestors and they are going to help you. A lot of you who do not call forth angels, you need to start. It's a lot going on, right? Spirit for the world, what cannot be seen in the physical, but is there in the spiritual? Trusting in spirit. Chess queen. This is the creation of allowing spirit to make moves for you. Sometimes all you have to do is get out the way and pray that the spiritual realm comes in and guides you along your way. Not hard to do. And for you who are dealing with a man holding a coin if you are not the man holding a coin attachment factors are here so a lot of you need to think twice what is the real reason why a person is attached to you or what is the real reason that a person is here and you may think oh they love me nah what is it about this situation clearing the air is it time for you to let go of your attachment factors you see or what is it that needs to be, or who is it that needs to be clear, purified, cleansed, and clear? See that? Release. Getting all the dirt off you. Getting all the old energy out the way. What is going to occur? Changes comes in in this attachment department towards self-reflections, because that's a seven, the man holding the coin. Some of you are this person, and some of you are dealing with with this person mm -hmm. but all together they represent the three what is the three creation you see that you do what you gotta do okay so let's get some insight about this attachment situation with the man holding a coin right a creation we're either gonna find out what is being created between the two because it's two it's a feminine and a masculine energy here. Who are you in the situation? 
Not saying that a female could not be a masculine whole in value, but is a person here for what you have? Or is a person just so attached to you? I'm, I'm so in love. But you got to remember the attachment factor. This person is a mass wearer. See how that, see how that, that feminine has that mask. I can put on this mask and be your best friend and take the mask off and be a, the devil. I can pretend to be in love with you. I can pretend to be your friend. Spirit, what cannot be seen in the physical, what is there in the spiritual for the attachment and the man holding a coin directly over the cleansing water? Sacred union partnership. Who are these people? Someone who is in a relationship partnership or some type of... um attachment that comes along with a person who is in a partnership this could also speak third party because here two feminines and a masculine mm -hmm. even if i was to take this away two feminines and a masculine even if i was to keep this two feminines and a masculine now, when you say two feminines and a masculine, this could, the feminine wounding would be someone who did not know that the person they had feelings for or the person that they was in a relationship with had an attachment, okay? See that? Wounding. This person only sees what they want to see. That's why they have a mask and another person is so focused on being in a relationship that they may not even know about another person because the masculine energy between the three blocks. This could be a side piece or the side chick or the side dude. You see that? Be careful. Two masculines and one feminine. However you want to look at it, third party is here third party is here so what and then because it comes over the cleansing water who needs to be released or what needs to be released out of a person's mind because they think hiding a side piece is cool rescue somebody's gonna call for help and help is going to come and when help comes help is gonna come in the form of abundance you see that green balloon what is the green green represents abundance success wealth health green also talks about risks and the movement forward someone may gain a spark in the mental because the balloon is in the air what is air air represents swords logic and here is water feelings moral feelings and then look at the balloon somebody is looking with a telescope Ooh, somebody's gonna find out something about a third party this is this may this may be where the thunder distant thunder that's that trouble that surprise that lightning may come from see you gotta be careful because you just never know now we're gonna dig a little deeper because the topics done got a little uh hotter mm -hmm. let's get some insight for both situations for the ones who are about expanding themselves Mm -hmm. spirit what surrounds the world of expansion dang it's, they coming out that is that spiritual realm comes in moon that is a five changes spiritual changes are going to take place for you yeah that's what i'm talking about and for this sacred union with the man holding a coin in this attachment factor what is the insight here in this situation still over cleansing waters who needs to be released six confidence someone may gain the confidence to leave someone may gain the confidence to speak but i can tell you one thing someone they do not see right now feminine energy that they have enough confidence to bring forth a balance that is the six upon jumping on that horse and taking action 
horses represent action someone is going to leave when they find out so if you think you're getting away you won't be getting away too much longer let me shut down this third party and let's look into the expansion and growth for those who are not in a third party situation or for those who think they don't they don't know that the world <laughs> uh, you better know you better know right i rather know than not to know what comes out legacy legacy is past life legacy is also longevity long time right long time spiritual changes is coming a lot of you may have been waiting a long time for this rescue some type of spiritual help to come in see that but they tell us now that the time is now the time is now legacy um a lot of you may be getting ready to come into inheritance because maybe your parents or uh, the older generations are passing on into the spiritual realm and they are leaving behind properties and, and, and monies. And um, some of you may not even know about deposit uh, boxes that are being left in these banks. Start looking into it because legacy is here. You will either accept or reject or you are going to be in a box or take a block. But the thing about it is, it's so much growth and expansion. Everything here represents expansion and growth. This could also be knowledge. See that? See how the spiritual, see how that cat looks over there towards the world? And then here's spirit here on the other side. It's like your growth is surrounded within the spiritual realm. You do what you got to do. Do what you got to do. It's not hard to ask for help from your ancestors and your angels let's look into this legacy spirit wise legacy here for the for those who need the growth for those who need expanding or expansion see that this could um come in the form of offerings like um some type of loans being given or uh student loans being forgiven um a offering i keep hearing an offering a offering the hangman is here um a lot of you were in these spiritual upholds for a long time because it took you a long time legacy to learn these lessons you are now getting ready to come out of these spiritual upholds and you are going to elevate you are going to grow and when you start growing and expanding it's not just you in the physical but it's you on a spiritual level see that spiritual level and then they told they tell you the whole time you thought you was by yourself spirit was right there leading you guiding you transformation insights are here underneath the deck why why or what is it that you need to know see that taking action to move forward a time of recovery for swords out of a time of indecision of the red blood love or defeat blood represents family situations love is just what it is the love of self or the love of someone or something else or the defeat of love a person no love right and receive or offer plenty you see that page of cups right page of cups and they say this is the communication this is signed sealed and delivered towards you and you having your mental right mm -hmm. see that king of swords even though it was a secret 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 even though it was a secret or even though it may have seemed strange because the high priestess represents um mystery we needed you to take action we needed you to turn around your path we needed you to um we needed to get your mind aligned into taking actions and what you could not see. And now that you have completed the task, very quickly, you're going to move up, grow up, blow up. See that? Chariot world into taking action. Mm -hmm. See that? Knight of staff. It's a lot of staff. And having the willpower. Mm hmm to do what 
to allow justice in. Mm -hmm. Why is it needed? Why is justice needed? Because here comes the devil. See that? Here comes the devil. And what is the devil doing? The devil is trying to stop, block your commitment, right? Your uh, spiritual leader, spiritual teacher. Mm -hmm. Or block your pathways. See that? Because Hyphen represents five, change your pathways and keep you stuck. See that? In a wounded state, a wounded energy. Queen of coin. Queen of coin been coming out a lot, water signs. Get out of this wounding. So that is for you who are going to elevate and grow spiritually. And let's get over here to this third party. Mm, mm, mm. Do what you got to do. Right? Do what you got to do. Over here to this third party. Confidence is up. Hmm. Let's look at the attachment. And let's, or else should we look at confidence? The balancing of confidence. Let's see what a person is going to do. Because a person may just say, you know what? Oh, I found your, I found out about your little girlfriend. I found out about your little boyfriend. Guess what? I'm gone. I see you in court. I don't want to have anything to do with you. You just never know. Let's see. Spirit, why is confidence here for this third party situation? Dang rejection Whew. changes in rejection five rejection and this is also known as the five of cups what is the five of cups someone who feels down and out about relationship and those attachments see that spirit why is rejection here or someone may be rejecting their confidence i just love them so much i'm just gonna stay just just stop talking to them please just stop spending time with them i know you love me i, I want to stay i love you i want to be with you and just you know i know i found out about your little girlfriend i found out about your little boyfriend but can you just stop dealing with them talking to them and show me you really love me really rejection spirit Ooh, you got two sets here first set to a coin to a coin Ten of coin and the three of staff. That's the first. That's the first set. Someone who has been juggled, struggle with the family, with financial matters within a group, a cooperation, or organization or a company. Someone who has been paying the enemy, right? Paying the enemy. That is a child that can represent inner child or lower self that has been giving money to the dog. The dog represents friend or enemy. But what they tell you here, right? And it's all about value here. See that? Value. All these coins, it's all about value. Someone, they are on grounds of confusion. They are in and out the loop. They don't know to lay down, sit down, or stand up. Everything is all over the place, right? And then they tell you, they say, just wait, because illumination, that sun back there, is coming. See that? The illumination is coming. And when the illumination comes in, the sun, it's going to be pertaining to feelings, water. Whether you say a woman's intuition or whatever, somebody is going to have some type of feeling to get on that horse and go. I'm telling you, they are going to grow their confidence. They could be waiting on building their confidence. They could be waiting on some type of exposure about the relationship. Yeah, I've been hearing little rumors about this relationship, even though I never seen it. I guess I have to start checking the phone. I guess I have to start looking. You see that? A person who is looking through the doorway gateway threshold of a new journey that's the ace that's that gold staff see that be careful somebody's gonna leave and then for the, the next set it says nine of coins the creation of holding back uh-huh see that the creation of holding back until a person learns how to step over low energy snake 
because the seven of coins is here, the creation of being held back. So now you got the creation of holding back and holding back changes. A person feels like they're stop blocked. They can't move. Someone is waiting on some type of news or message. And when that news or message or confirmation comes in, goodbye. Why is a person going to leave? Because rejection factors is here and it's going to change the name of the game or the way a person plays the game because the nine of coin with the seven of coin makes the six of coin. And what is the six of coin? That equal give and take that is going to be rejected. A person is not going to sit around and allow a person to play with them. Well, a person in their right mind. Someone is going to grow, level up, and balance their confidence enough to say, I don't have time for no third-party situation. I'm not going to sit here and keep taking these phone calls and these text messages from your little girlfriend or from your little boy toy. I don't have time for that. You do what you got to do. A person is going to either get ready for trouble or be surprised clear the air sound like some type of something coming through the air or communication or a person is going to cleanse and clear away purification activates vibrant life force life energy somebody's going to wash away their troubles so what a sign our plates are heavy but you do what you gotta do go look at november blocks victory six of staff Towards what? The Six of Cups. Leaving someone in the past. A balanced six. Within a balanced six. Makes the creation. The creation of what? Someone taking action. Right? Action. Of a new journey. Ace of Staff. Over the Five of Staff in the background. Conflict. To do what? Go on a new journey. Ace of Staff. Or the love of the journey. And leaving someone in the past with the five of cups. What is the five of cups? Feelings of regret. Anybody who needs to talk to me, you can email me. You can call me. You can text me. My information is in the about section of the um YouTube uh, readings. I also have gift certificates. If you don't know what to get a person for the holidays, order them a gift certificate. And they can come to my site and uh, shop for whatever they would like. Uh, go check out at Dark Mystics November Blocks. Look at your elemental reading, right? Of course. Um, and I will see you guys later. Work it out. Figure it out. Scorpios, happy birthday, baby.